Well, tonight we're hearing from the superintendent of Greenville County Schools, Dr. Brooke Royster, is speaking following the shooting at Tanglewood Middle School that took the life of 12-year-old Jamari Jackson. Our Taggart Houck spoke with him today. He's live outside of district headquarters with more tag. Yeah, good evening to you both. Tomorrow marks two weeks to the day that this all happened. The superintendent today talking about the response, saying that already it has been under hours of review, and he says there's a very good chance that this could have helped others from being injured. Certainly about the worst thing that you can imagine occurring in your school if you're a principal in your district, if you're a superintendent. That certainly pales in comparison to the loss of the, the family. Greenville County Schools Superintendent Dr. Burke Royster reflecting on March 31st. <laughs> Day officials say 12-year-old Jamari Jackson was fatally shot in school by another 12-year-old student. It certainly weighs heavily on the minds of everybody associated with Tanglewood Middle School and with the district. Amid the tragedy, Royster said the response went as planned. The single most important thing was the flawless response of the faculty and staff in that school getting students into a lockdown situation, removing them from the immediacy of danger created by the shooter. The situation posing an interesting question. What can be done to ensure that people who legally should not possess a weapon don't possess them? whether they're 12 years old or a three times convicted felon. I think there are a lot of bigger questions out there that require answers that extend well beyond the boundaries of the classroom, the school, and the school district. Moving forward, Royster said the most important thing is for students and staff to say something if they see something. This is certainly a tragedy for, our, for these families for our schools and for our community and, and we commit to continue to do everything we can possibly do to try to prevent this sort of thing from occurring. And a motive for this shooting still is not clear. That is under investigation. A hearing was scheduled for that 12 year old suspected shooter for tomorrow. The attorneys have waived that hearing. We are working to learn more about what will happen in this process next. For now in Greenville, Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4.